I mean, from as far back as I can remember, it was always, he's got the potential to be a club legend, he's got the potential to be club captain, he's got the potential to be England captain. It doesn't weigh me down, but it's almost as if it's not Alexander-Arnold on the back, it's potential. Uh, I suppose potential is just another way of expectation, in my opinion. Good is never enough, great is never really enough. You've got to keep striving for more. If you don't achieve the potential, then it's, it's a massive waste, and that's what wakes me up in the morning, gets me out of bed. Your talent will only take you to a certain level. There's a ceiling to your talent that will only take you so far, and then to better that, it has to be hard work. But it's hard to find new things to improve, if that makes sense, because I've been doing this for, what, 15, 16 years now, that you would think that I've worked on everything. I'm an ophthalmologist, and what I've specialised in is sports vision, the vision necessary for athletes to perform at their best. Now, that's something that I've never worked on, so that means that there's so much room for improvements and space for improvements. It was a no-brainer for me. Over the years, I've worked with a whole range of athletes. I've worked with thousands of professional baseball players. Hitting a baseball has been considered one of the most, or the most difficult task in all of sports. One of the players I've worked with was a player whose name was Manny Ramirez, who played for the Boston Red Sox. This was in 2004. The Red Sox won the World Series for the first time in 80, 90 years. Manny Ramirez was voted the most valuable player for the World Series that year. I was given a, a championship ring that year. Uh, I now have six of them and we're not going to be giving him any of that information. I don't want him to judge himself against others. I want him to judge himself against himself. I want his personal best. I want his maximal effort. And that's how we're going to have the best improvement. We're moving up the pyramid now, one level. The next level of the pyramid, we had to look at how he uses both eyes together. Special pair of glasses. These, go ahead, put these on. On the pitch, there's many, many players. You have to be able to track multiple targets at the same time. We're going to look at that. So here are the eight yellow balls. Now you see the four that just got darker. But you have to remember which ones they are. At the end, when they stop, you can tell me which ones are the original four. Oh, wow. In a game, no one's ever static, so I'd say the sports vision side of it is going to help seeing a pass, but also seeing what's going on around the pass. Multiple object tracking is not only a critical skill for Trent on the football pitch, but it's also a critical skill for everybody. Take, for example, driving a car. When you drive a car, we have objects to our right, our left, cars in front of us, cars behind us, and we have to keep track of those cars in order to drive safely and effectively. We have a very good way to test the skill of multiple object tracking. The task involves tracking several balls that you see on the screen. Concentrate? Yeah. You have to keep track of those four that were originally marked. Over the 30 years or so uh, that I've been doing this, I've worked with many different elite players of many different personality. And some are not interested in really improving and doing more, and others do whatever they can to improve. And Trent is the latter. He was somebody who very much wanted to do well, but I think he also got frustrated sometimes. And so that keyed me in on Trent's perspective, that he's not gonna just give up. Instead of saying, Doc, I don't know, and coming up with something wrong, he wants to find out what's the actual test is and he wants to do his best to get the answer right and those are the marks of someone who's going to advance forward uh, in the future. Course uh, session should be complete. All right. It's frustrating and probably the the one that I struggled with the most so far. At first I was trying to really keep my eye on every single one of them um, and then I'd just get confused and once I'd probably look at one to the left, I'd lose the ones to the right, and that killed me um, at the start. And then, really, I just focused on a central point. That's the better way of doing it, uh, using your peripheral vision, not just your central, because you can't follow all four with your central vision, because once you move one, you lose it. Yeah. Actually, that's good, that's good. But it was hard, huh? Yeah, yeah. still. For the first two levels of the pyramid, Trent's space lines were fine. In terms of sharpness of vision, it was good enough. He didn't need any glasses or contact lenses, but the most glaring issue that Trent had was the multiple target tracking. His score was, was a fair amount below where I'd like it to be. So I'm gonna need to incorporate those results into the plan for the training so that we can improve him. It's good to have something to, to work on. It's the Anfield Rapid, it's John Gibbons. 
Liverpool have lost again, they've lost another home game and I mean it's getting tough to take isn't it, I mean you know there's, there's been a few blows you know recently, there's been a few bad performances, you feel like you get a bit of a lift but I mean, it, was, it was a tough one last night for me. Yeah, he's had a tough season, Trent, you know, the, the injury, of course, but also, you know, playing in a side that's struggling. It's probably the first time he's had a bit of criticism as, as well. Look, the whole club has struggled, you know, this season at different moments and certain times. And, you know, I think Trent has maybe been a bit more under the spotlight, which is probably unfair. Since I've came into the team, I've never lost this amount of games and things like that and had a period like this. I need to get better the next day and it gives me margins to improve. It says brain processing speed up now to 12%. Yeah, that's good. That's excellent. Is that, is that 12% better than what, how it started? Uh-huh. Wow. Oh. He wants to be captain of Liverpool and captain of England one day, so he understands that during times like this he has to step up. I have to do more to earn that place. It's not just going to happen because your team's won the league. I have to earn the right to play for England now. Well, today's a big day. This is the culmination of a whole project. What do you think about doing it this time compared to last time? Uh, still tough, to still be fair. Tough. Yeah, still tough. I'm nervous about how Trent's going to do with his retesting. My worry is that we got some improvement, but just not enough of it. All right, so now we're going to do the multiple target tracking test. This was an area that we, we spent quite a bit of time in the in the training period yep. um, to, to get good for you. Every time I've done something that related to target tracking, I struggled with it. So it's kind of been eating away at me for the last six weeks, knowing that that was the biggest room for improvement. You'll recall that after a few seconds, they'll stop, and you'll have to put the numbers in for the four that you've been tracking. Yeah. All right, go ahead and type in the numbers of the four that you think are the answers. And hit enter. You got them all right. We got them all right, yeah. Good, good. Remember, to get it right, it gets harder, it gets faster. The last one. It'll come back. Gone right? Wow. <laughs> It'd be a waste of time and effort and, and everything if this is all gone to waste. You're doing good. Keep concentrating. It's a scary thought for me. Four session complete. All right, 1.33. But you know what? You were operating at a speed three to four times faster than you were last time. And so the training we did over the six weeks with the different things, I think made a big difference, three to four times better. That's great. When we speak about improvement with training, we look at two main different areas. We call one area near transfer and the other one far transfer. Near transfer, you can think about is improving the, the basic visual skills that we're training them on. The real icing on the cake is the distance transfer, the far transfer. Are we gonna see those improved visual skills helping them on the pitch? Then we got to the next test, which is the multiple object tracking and visual concentration. That's the one with the balls that move around. And then there's no question on, on the football pitch, you have to track multiple targets. And to be honest with you, when I left you six weeks ago, that was my biggest concern. Mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure we hit this hard because frankly, your score is 0 0.39. When I'm looking for a score above one, it was a little bit concerning. It was not at the level at all that I would hope for. Your score went from 0 0.39 to 1.33, 240% increase. That's, I think, really good. You skyrocketed. This is a star result. We went from trouble into excellence. This is a, a nice connection to what you have to do on the football pitch using the visual skills that we've trained and tested. He's not the finished article yet. He knows that himself. That's why he tries to do these things. He tries to improve himself, and he's only 22. His whole career's ahead of him, and he'll only get better. You think Cristiano Ronaldo, Leo Messi, Robert Lewandowski, the thing they have in common 
is that they never reach a peak and think that's it now everybody talks about me being the best and it stops and i think trent is very much in that category of what else is there that i can take that further not just to be the best ride back but just the best